Okay, this is gonna be pre-recorded at this point because, well, phone, yeah, phone's at 75%. I have no way to charge it because cannot find portable charger in time. So, and nothing here seems to be selling that stuff. So, anyways, yeah, definitely got some big ones going up there, but these the winds are dying down. Because the snake does not want off from the. I think that might be the running low on battery or bubbles. <laughs> yeah, it might be the battery dying. <laughs> yeah. Not a good battery if it only lasts an hour. Anyways. Now, if only the snake would cooperate a little bit, but. Not gonna force them into anything, so. Uh, I see that as I brought up here. <laughs> he was nice and calm and I brought him here. He's like, what the hell? But. So again, I'm used to being around people and stuff. So. Bucket Emporium. But yeah, it's always fun to see the. Oh, okay. Into a wind net, and we have nowhere to put it. <laughs> How much is it? Oh, ten dollars. Yeah. Spin. <laughs> so yeah, that doing that. But, you know, the nephew, he would definitely love that. But, what are they dressed up as? What the heck? Yeah. Yep, thanks. <laughs> <sighs> trying to get him out active, but, yeah. Snake. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It's all right. He's uh, he's uh, he's uh, friendly. As long as you don't have any rodents with you, he is uh, friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is all good. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, he's friendly. But yeah, and he's used to dogs. I uh, I have uh, I have dogs too, so that's not much of a problem. Although I, although I am more concerned about the dogs getting to him or my cat getting to him because they would see him as food, so <laughs> I don't know where his head is. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is its name? Salazar. And is it a ball Yeah, ball python. Yes. Yeah. I watch a lot of reptile videos. I'm also thinking about getting a. Um, yeah, well, best place to get that would be Snake uh, Snake Discovery. Where is it? Ooh, you right there, it? Yeah. You I was thinking about They're getting really it. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I, I'm not Did surprised. Did you get that guy from Snake Discovery? Uh, I actually got him from uh, Claws and Paws because it was... That's where I was going to get mine. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Look, right there. As soon as he's seen it, he seems hurt. He's like, oh, I see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's alive. He's he's a, yeah. His face is right here. That's the kind of snake I'm It's a ball python. Yeah, and, and they he, have them up at Paws of Paws. You could get them at, uh, at, uh, at a Snake Discovery, but that's up in like Minnesota. But you could legally ship reptiles in the mail, mail as long as it's not winter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's friendly. Yeah, ball pythons are very friendly. Yeah, as long as you're not a rodent. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're not a mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> oh, spooked him. Yeah, he does not like his face getting touched, apparently. Get used to that. Hello. <laughs> 
Yeah. Get that one guy that makes like bubble art to come here one of these years. Pre spinal screening. Um, that's interesting. <laughs> hey, yeah, I was not ex okay. Free spinal screenings. How does that work? Okay. Yeah. So. I'm not sure if having a snake around the neck would affect that, but <laughs> um, I don't think so. But I wouldn't know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but if you're interested, we can take a couple of pictures while she's done with him and figure out where your spine is. Do you have any back problems, headaches? I do have headaches occasionally and back issues here and there. Mostly just, just, just like the real need to pop, pop yep. the back, and like, so with chiropractic. That and we do it all across the body, so it's oh. not just like one pinpointed. You yeah. know, if your friends were popping your back, it's not just like them popping. It's everything. Yeah. Um, is it more lower back or upper back? It, I guess it depends on what I'm doing. Can I ask what you do for a living? I uh, well, Saturdays I work at Blue Ribbon, the farm shop, and then Saturdays through Tuesday I work at the bowling alley. And outside that, I do YouTube, which involves. Sitting and, at a yeah. desk and stuff uh, like that. More or less outdoors because uh, of stuff. yeah, because I do natural disaster coverage okay. and that includes the severe weather and stuff. Yep. So. so with that, you know, you could be getting that back pain from just like walking around, being on your feet all day. Because I know at the bowling alley, you guys aren't really allowed to sit down. Yeah. Only time you're able to sit there is if you're using the bathroom. Yeah. That's the only time yep. you're able to One sit down. One of my down. old coworkers used to work at the bowling alley, so yeah. I understand that. Um, chiropractic can help so much with that. I am a patient as long with, along with working there, sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've had lower back pain and I get headaches very badly. And I've been getting some relief with getting chiropractic visits. Also, I just started. So it's good. Yeah. it takes progress and everything to get to where it needs to be and everything. But if you're interested, yeah. I'd love to get a couple definitely, of Yeah, definitely interested, yeah. Okay. I would the, grab that and, from yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll do what I can with that. <laughs> does he just stay there all day? He does when he wants to. Yeah. He looks so calm. Yeah, he is for considering he's out around a lot of people. That's he's calm. Can I get a first name for you? Uh, Jeffrey. 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 J